Hello, welcome to Is Not Is To Art Studio. This is installment number three in a five part series of my making of Hey Diddle Diddle Nursery Rhyme Yard Art Sculptures. Well, say that three times fast. This, of course, is the fiddle playing cat, and I will be doing a combination of paint and rust patina. Knowing this would be a challenge, I made him so he could come apart. All the rest of the pieces I show start to finish, but I don't have a video of the making of the cat, because it's around this time I was making up my mind to start videoing, but now my production studio is in full operation. Although my videos are not how-to type videos per se, I still like to say how to do it. The number one most important rule to painting anything is clean it good. I'm using a non-toxic biodegradable degreaser. Cleaning is equally important for the rust patina as well. You may have noticed my neighbor's house in the background. I think they may be out of town because I haven't seen them lately. Now to the painting. I needed to mask off some parts where I'm going to do the rust patina. I'm going to edit out a lot of the spray painting. Not terribly exciting. I do like to primer my stuff, even though it says on the can you don't need to. But yet they make and sell primer. Go figure. I think the paint finish comes out better with a primer coat. One point of interest is the painting of the overalls. First I painted them light blue, and then painted over the light blue with dark blue and then sanded selected spots so that the light blue will start to show through in hopes that this would look like old worn out blue jeans. I'll let you be the judge. Now to the part we've all been waiting for, the rust patina. You're watching 30 minutes of rusting in less than two minutes. Yes, it's that fast. In order to get this kind of result, you need to clean and sand it first. And you can get different effects by grinding some places and wiping off others and reapplying the solution as it dries. Doing it outside under a warm sun seems to make it rust faster as well. And I do recommend doing this outside for good ventilation and keep it off your skin and out of your eyes. If you think you might try this, I suggest you do some research first. It's actually an old technique. I'm using a mixture of two cups hydrogen peroxide, four tablespoons distilled white vinegar, and one teaspoon iodized salt. One last note on this. Once you mix this, keep a lid on it, or it will rust everything around. It's the vapor it creates. As I mentioned earlier, I don't have a video of the making of this cat. I wish I did. My original plan was to make it so his arm would move in the breeze, but he's just too low to the ground to get enough wind, so I scrapped that idea. Making the fiddle was interesting. I needed to do some research on what the fiddle actually looked like. Knew I wasn't going to be exact, but wanted it to be in the ballpark. I'm glad I did because my original sketch looked more like a ukulele. Another thing I learned was there is much debate about what the difference is between a fiddle and a violin. Now I'm not going to go change Wikipedia or anything like that, but I think I have come up with the best definition of the difference between a fiddle and a violin. It's the name of the song. Hello, I'm Stan Smith. 
Me and all the staff here at Is Not Is To Art Studio would like to thank you for watching. My wife actually doesn't like it when I call her the staff. Anyway, if you found this at all interesting, please consider subscribing and let me know what you think in the comments.